Hi, my name is Ilma and welcome to my channel. Uh, I've been posting blogs for the Lord for nine straight years every day and today I'd like to share 1 Peter 1 verses 6 to 9 and here's the Word of God. In this, in this you greatly rejoice even though now for a little while. If necessary you have been distressed by various trials so that the proof of your faith being more precious than gold which perishes though tested by fire may be found to result in praise glory and honor at the revelation of Jesus Christ and though you have not seen him you love him and though you do not see him now but believe in him you greatly rejoice with joy inexpressible and full of glory obtaining as the outcome of your faith the salvation of your souls first Peter 1 verses 6 to 9 and here's my blog though you can't see him you love him this is a powerful text that Peter writes to the believers in the Roman provinces it is encouraging to hear Peter tell them not to be distressed by the trials and adversities that they are currently facing. But he reminds them of how precious the proof of their faith is because it is tested by such suffering. It helps them to endure and thus grow their faith. He wants them to focus their eyes on the result of such patient endurance. It brings praise, glory, and honor to God. In verse 8, Peter explains the concept of true faith. Even though they can't see God, they still love Him. Humans are visual beings. It is hard to love someone you can't see or hold. Faith makes loving someone you can't see possible. Many people stop believing God because their minds cannot fathom someone not visible to them. Our nature wants to understand something before we do it. That is why faith is not something we can do or achieve. It is, a gift. it is a gift from God himself when he chose all those who belong to him. Peter also explains here that faith leads to rejoicing and hope that is fully glorious. I was raised by my mother and aunts because my father worked abroad. My father was always gone. If you sum up the number of years that I spent with him in my entire lifetime, it wouldn't even add up to five years. Yet, I connected with him through letters almost weekly, if not daily, since I was seven years old. We communicated our thoughts and ideas and feelings, and I felt much closer to him than I was with those who are physically around me. I have reassurance that my father loves me and that I can believe that one day we will be reunited again. The absence didn't change the way I love him. This is almost the same with our father in heaven. We can continue to love him even though we don't see him. If we continue to remember his promises and live in that knowledge, we can grow our faith. Reflection how can we continue to love the Lord our God even though we don't see Him? There is the Bible that is given to us as uh, a communication of God to our, His people. So we can continue to love the Lord if we keep on looking at His promises, if we keep on um, believing that uh, even though we don't see Him, that he's there for us, that he's never fors forsake us, that he's always uh, caring for us, that he's always protecting us. So it's important that we have um, a regular time with scriptures because that is how we spend time with the Lord. And it's interesting how many Christians fail to do this because they think that Christianity is just about being a member of a of a denomination and then they fail to see that the personal relationship is very important in in our walk as Christians so we can continue to love the Lord if we are able to see all the things that um, is happening around us 
no matter, especially now that we have COVID, there's so much trials. But then if we look closely, God is still with us trying to let us go through with all this so that we can be strong and so that we can grow our faith in endurance. So I encourage you to continue to love the Lord despite um, all the trials, all the distressing things in your life because He's there for you. Thanks for watching. I hope you check my website at ilmaars.com for artworks, photographs, and a copy of this blog. And I hope you subscribe to my channel on YouTube so I could make more videos for God. Thanks for watching.